The first period saw no shortage of action as Riley Shan taps home a rebound. Just a minute and 13 seconds into this one, Shan picks up his seventh goal while Zach Cassian gets point number 30 on the season. That is a new career high. The Blackhawks don't respond not once, but twice, thanks to Brandon Saad off of a nifty pass from Patrick Kane and then Jonathan Taves just a few moments later, who buries his 15th shorthanded. Just three minutes after that, however, the Oilers once again find themselves on the power play, and this time they deliver. Kyler Yamamoto up with the team's top power play unit in place of the injured Connor McDavid, picks up goal number six on the season. More to come from Yamamoto a little later. Blackhawks defenseman Adam Boquist gets the Hawks on the board and restores the lead for the road squad, but the Oilers answered once again. Good shift for Edmonton. Dry settle, Nugent Hopkins, shot save, Leonard, rebound, score! Yamamoto digging away at the right pad, and he tucks home his second of the night. It's the equalizer. Yamamoto with his second of the night and first career multi-goal game to even things up before Ryan Nugent Hopkins scores the game winner on the power play as the third period saw a lone empty net goal from Leon Dreisaitl to cap off a four-point night for number 29 as the NHL's leading scorer helps the Oilers secure the 30th victory of the season with a 5-3 decision. Everyone contributed. Uh, goalie was great again. Um, thought we were a little, a little shaky at the beginning maybe. Um, obviously, you know, they have some skill over there too. And, you know, sometimes you just... Um, you know, you can't really do anything against, uh, you know, world, world class skill. So, um, but I thought we stuck with it. Um, you know, we battled, and uh, yeah, like I said last game, it's a big two points for us. The players have the mindset, you know, you, we've got ourselves in a good race here, and every team's going through some adversity, some with injuries, and we're no different than that. It doesn't mean we can't compete hard and try to find ways to win. It's a huge confidence boost for our team. Um, you know, anytime you can win without the best player in the world, um, you know, it's a huge confidence boost, um, you know, for the team. So, I um, mean, hopefully we can keep it up and hopefully he gets back, um, you know, has a quick recovery and get him back. Since Jamo's come up, he's, uh, he's, he just goes and gets pucks. I mean, uh, he's all over the, all over the ice getting pucks. Uh, I think he surprises a lot of D with how fat, how quick he is. I mean, he, he he gets beat, and then all of a sudden he's right back in there, and he's uh, he's got a good stick. He's strong on his stick, and uh, creates a lot of uh, a lot of opportunities for us. And um, I mean, with Connor out, uh, like I was saying, I mean you don't you don't replace him, but um, I mean, a good night for Yamo. Just uh, find a way to to create a lot of offense. And with a four-point night on Tuesday, Leon Drysaddle now leads the NHL in scoring with 89 points, while his line mate Ryan Nugent Hopkins has 21 points in his last. 15 games. Mike Smith also turned aside 38 of 41 shots on this night to improve to 8-0-2 in his last 10 games. From Rogers Place, Tony Brar, Oilers TV.